If you're a fan of anime, movies, mangas, cartoons, TV shows, even some like, maybe some stuff that's not so nerdy or is nerdy, this is the nerdy spot. This is dubbed out. Star Wars Skeleton Crew gives me a whole ton of vibes. One, Young Stranger Things vibes. Two, good energy. Three, it's something fresh from Star Wars. And written by John fucking Watts. I gotta give it to the man. He can write kid shit. He can write stuff about being a young kid, young stories, the angst and all that. Also, John Fabro and Dave Filoni is working next to it. So you know these kids have been told stories of the Jedi, of the galaxy far, far away, the galaxy that they can't touch. And you know what is interesting about this? It gives me Goonie vibes. From Goonie vibes to E.T. vibes to all that shit. And then the wider galaxy gets opened up. I fuck with that. Because you're telling me something about Star Wars that I already know, but through a child's perspective, it's brand spanking new, right? Imagine being a fan, growing up this shit for like 35 years, and now you see Star Wars grow again with the younger generation that's just now getting into it. This is for the younger. It's coming out December. It's gonna be an awesome show. I don't think it's a movie, I think it's a TV show. Like I really do think it's a Star Wars TV show that is doing something what I feel is original, even though it may not look original, Star Wars is taking that leap, the leap and journey with something fun and new. And my favorite part about the trailer is when this the key move from the GSL <clears throat> and they get themselves a motherfucking Jedi. <laughs> He's bald as shit, bald, bald. Like that is, that's monk energy right there. Let me know what you think of Star Wars Skeleton Crew. I fuck with it, I like it, I think it's something good. But let me know what you think. Do you fuck with it? Do you like it? Let's continue with more Dubbed Out, baby. Being showcased at D23, right? D23 was like a couple weeks ago. Yeah, Toy Story 5. Incredibles fucking 3, let's go, let's go. I don't know what you know. <laughs> um, Frozen 3, I really didn't watch even the second Frozen, didn't really care. And Zootopia 2, I'm fine with this. People have been waiting for Zootopia to have a sequel and to have Judy Hopps get pregnant by the fox. It's been some crazy shit. I'm actually hoping for this. My favorite is actually Incredibles 3 because Incredibles, I think, can have a beautiful, beautiful journey. And the wait for like the second Incredibles was a wait that I think everybody was like, eh, y'all really did all this for nothing. It, all they did was reverse the stories. All they did was reverse the stories. I'm like, what are y'all gonna do next? What is gonna be the next Incredibles? Personally, I don't know, but let's see. Oh, White and the Seven Zorbs. Uh, after Peter Dinklage disrespected fucking Disney uh, and made the dwarf community lose their jobs, this is what we got with. <sighs> Creepy. And honestly, I don't even care for this Snow White because she ain't the fairest of them all, but let me know what you think. Uh, are you okay with live action Snow White and the Seven Dwarves? Nine Inch Nails is doing Tron Aries. Tron Aries uh, music for the next Tron movie, my bad. I'm okay with this. Tron has, Tron is a pop culture iconic fucking game that's never left the sphere of people. Like it was, it was once a movie, then a game, and then it still somehow connects people to this day with its techno look. I don't know how Tron does it, but Tron, just like He-Man, uh, Transformers still stays in the forefront of like, yo, this shit will never, never die. So I respect it. Shout out to Nine's Nails. Freaky Friday. We have the young versions of them and now we have the older versions of, she still looks beautiful for her age. I feel like she's the same age as this lady was in the last one. Oh my God. I don't really know why they do another Freaky Friday. I personally, like it's it's been forever. Like y'all need to relax off that shit. I don't know if they could still pull it off, but okay, I guess. Let's, let's find out what a new Freaky Friday does for some people. Let's, let's find out. Oh my God. Lilo and motherfucking Stitch is having a live action summer 2025. I wouldn't have announced this. I wouldn't even tried announcing this. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have done it. But here we go with Lilo and Stitch. And you know, I can't wait for Stitch. I can't wait for him. He's a good character. Experiment 626. Let's get it. Huh? Huh? So he said the N-word. Everybody been like, he said the N-word. He said Nika. He didn't say nigga. <laughs> Relax. He said Nika. Yeah, I best that. Like Nika is a, it's usually what they say, um, almost like Nika ha. Uh, what the fuck did they say? Like oh, Hawaiian speak. So it, this was basically part of like the song. So it ain't a bad. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
don't know, bro. I don't know. Ah, <laughs> uh, can they please tell me they created a puppet version? Please tell me they created a puppet version because I really don't want this whole thing to be CGI. Like I love Stitch, I really do. Like that if you go back to like the cartoon era, like he had so much emotion in his face, you know, he could do a lot. This is Stitch. It's just, I don't know, man. I don't know, bro. Like the, that, that means this is the this is the dumbed down version of him until you get the alien version. We're gonna find out. Let's get it. Shout out to Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> Nika. See, motherfucking Jackson. All right, listen. I just finished watching that shit last night. I'm gonna let y'all motherfuckers know. The show was good. Besides, yes, they changed a character or two, which would mean like one of Percy's friends who's the black girl. They changed her. And personally, I didn't really care about all that shit. Everybody else cared about that shit. And personally, Percy Jackson's never been my favorite. Edge was in this bitch. Edge, WWE wrestler Edge. I like the fact that they ended it and now we get in a sequel. We're getting season two, which I finally watched season uh, one and I was like, all right, not bad. Hopefully season two goes fucking good. Jam packed a lot of good energy. Let's see what they can bring to the Olympian games. How much of the books are they adaptations? Are they creating? Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Let's fucking go. Season two. Mandalorian and fucking Grogu, nigga. The Mandalorian and fucking Grogu, nigga. Okay, so I didn't watch the Mandalorian season four, like the final one. I just didn't, I didn't care about it. I didn't really give a fuck about it. I didn't, I gotta be honest with y'all. I like the Mandalorian. When he let Grogu go, it felt like a season finale. Now this nigga's just carry around his little shit and it's 2026 and I really don't give a fuck. Like if y'all announcing this now, I don't care. Pedro Pascal will be how fucking old at that time and he could, all he's doing is voicing the character. He's not even being inside the suit. So I personally don't care. I like the idea. I just don't care. The, the Mandalorian, when he let the fucking baby Grogu go to Luke, that should have been it. That should have been it. But Disney was like, no, cash cow. Get the fuck out of here. Well, let me know what you think of the Mandalorian and Grogu TV show. Let me know. Comments below. Avatar 3, Fire and Ash. So we have some crazy fire looking Na'vi. I like how somebody put like a, a black Na'vi with red hair. Uh, these shits look creepy. Like this looks like the creepiest part of this planet. Fire and Ash. And then we see like a weird looking ship. So, all right. I hopefully... Um, Avatar Fire and Ash does well. The, I don't know how the last one did because I didn't watch it. I think it, it made a significant amount of money. Uh, let's go. Uh, James Cameron's been talking about these fucking movies for years and he's finally making them. Oh my fucking God, Cameron. What the fuck? So Avatar 3, Around the Corner, Fire and Ash. Let me know what you think. I personally don't care. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Yeah, I know this man, right? Uh, Kihu Kwan, who used to be in The Goonies, now is voicing Gary from Zootopia... Uh, two. That's okay. Shouts to Kihu Kwan, Ki Kihai Kwan, Kihu Kwan, Kihai. Shouts to this nigga. Shouts to him. Okay. He's from the Goonies to Loki to um every everywhere everywhere and always, and to now voicing the character in Zootopia. You know what I'm saying? Shouts to this man who's got a Grammy. Uh, shouts to this man who is Emmy Emmy nominated and. Who's an incredible actor? Shouts to Boss Logic, Rachel Lillis, the voice actress of Misty, uh, Togepi Pimen has been an icon. She passed away of cancer. Um, it's been probably a long uphill battle. She voiced uh, Jigglypuff, Misty. She voiced Jesse. This is the original OG Pokemon voice actress, and she's gone. And it kind of sucks. It sucks because she added so much to our childhoods. She added so much to our everything, man. It's a little weird to talk about this because I grew up watching Pokemon. I grew up listening to these people voice these characters. And now that I'm older, it's kind of sad that they're gone. I hope beyond everything, remember this. She is gone. A lot of voice actors are gone. A lot of people are gone. But if they're performers and they performed, they're never gone. Their voices are always here with us. Their acting is always here. What they left behind is what we can remember and still listen to them to this day. Her family and friends, I hope and give you all my prayers 
and God bless you. And Rachel, thank you for lending your voice to many generations and giving people hope and inspiration to one day voice act. It's sad, but please keep your head up. And remember, Rachel would not want us to cry as Pokemon fans or anybody. She still leaves behind an incredible voice and awesome characters that we can still enjoy to this day. Let's get it. Thank you once again. Welcome to the channel. Check out all the trailers, all the awesome stuff. And I appreciate y'all. Let's get it. Let's get it go. It's been a good time. And you look, if you liked everything that you've watched in this video so far, make sure you like, subscribe, Bitch. hit the like time to notify. So peace and enjoy everything nerdy. And don't get mad because the real world sucks. This is where it's at. Dubbed out. Peace. Shit. Damn been on drum. Damn been on drum. You real niggas gonna stop acting like my shit ain't the grill. Some of you niggas get your front teeth for grills. And I ain't talking about the contract. We ain't loving these fake hoes. Room smelling like eight switches. Room service like 2K. NBA, I'm ballin' nigga, all them niggas Fallin' like all them niggas Talkin' shit, I saw them niggas Now they daughter want a picture, rough ain't it? Fuck famous, yeah, niggas too real, got the most haters Wrote a story, so Stephen Curry How we feel to be golden